Hi, I'm Brian Huff with Brian Huff Outdoors. Uh, I fish here in Ohio. I'm very avid uh, crappie fisherman. Also like to fish for uh, catfish quite a bit and uh, largemouth and smallmouth bass. Today's video is going to be my first, so be patient with me. Uh, it's going to be a learning experience and uh, I'll learn as I go, I guess. Um, today we're going to go over crappie jigs, the hairstyle jigs. There's many different variations of the hair jig, uh, a lot of different color patterns. But to be honest, if you're going to go and you want to go, you know, as cheap as possible, you can go out and use, say, chartreuse, which is the uh, neon green color. I'm not sure how well these will show up when I hold them up, but this is the uh, neon green chartreuse. Um, also, uh, Yellow is a very productive color. Uh, they're just a yellow hair jig with a lead head. 16th ounce is usually about right. Um, also they come in a uh, white like I said and that is a real productive color also. If you've got the yellow, the white, chartreuse green, I think you've you know pretty much got your basis covered there. Um, a lot of guys will rig up the old spring style, just one inch plastic bobber over them, maybe set it two foot deep, throw them out, work them back. You know, you can slow cast, or I'm sorry, slow retrieve them. Um, you can do a retrieve a few cranks and pause, or just a twitching motion, then pause, twitch, twitch, and then pause again. Um, Crappies, when the water is real cold, will hit real lightly. They won't always take the bobber under. You just see just a bounce and maybe a slow slide to the left or the right. Or, you know, every now and then you get some aggressive fish, even in the colder water, that will bury the bobber. So you've got to be a, a bobber watcher. I mean, you got to focus. Um, once you get a little more comfortable with crappie fishing, though, I recommend using the uh, slip float, float rig. Uh, you got a line stopper on your line, a bead, your slip float, and below that then of course you can pinch on a split shot, tie the jig below that six or eight inches. Uh, the reason the slip float's uh, a lot more convenient and easy to use in my opinion is if you want to fish say six feet down, um, your slip float will actually only be about this high, 12 inches or so above the uh, jig and you don't have all that line hanging. Now if you were using the old clip-on style plastic bobber, um, basically anything over two foot deep, maybe two and a half foot, is going to be too much line hanging for you to cast with any kind of accuracy or distance. Um, the slip float, I fished it as deep as eight feet and had fish on it and uh, Sometimes though, you know, you don't want to pinch the split shot on the line above the jig because then the jig will fall too fast through the water um, when the water's colder. Sometimes a lighter jig will work better, like say even dropping down to a 64th ounce, which is a pretty small jig. And uh, it'll fall slower through the water, which will make the uh, less aggressive fish more likely to take the bait for you. Um, crappie are a real easy fish to catch. Um, hair jigs are probably the cheapest alternative. I mean you can go get Mr. Twister brand, um, South Bend brand crappie jigs for I don't know three for a dollar a lot of times in the department stores. Um, whereas though if you want to go a little better uh, there is a lot of custom jig tires who tie jigs online sell them on eBay and have their own websites and to be honest you know you're paying four or five dollars for three jigs but these jigs are more durable they hold up better and honestly they've got a quality hook um, a lot of color variations you can buy and I think that they're actually the better choice if you have the money to spend I'm gonna get a few of my custom tied jigs out I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see them We'll let you have a look at those and uh, discuss maybe uh, some scent usage on the hair jigs too to enhance the bite. I'll be right back. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.